Animal Control Officer Appreciation Week is from April 11th to the 17th around the country. Let's see what's wild about being an animal control officer in Great Falls. So from day to day, um, our job as an animal control officer is we patrol the streets. Um, what we're trying to do is we're looking for lost pets, investigate animal bites. We um, do welfare checks on animals. Gosh, there's so many things we do. <laughs> Elisa Etheridge has been an animal control officer for nine years, and she says her job is not to write citations, but to help her community. You know, it's not just take the animal to the shelter and and leave it in their care. If we get the opportunity to talk to the owner, we, we do that. So, um, so a lot of our job is education. Um, and we don't always write citations. If it's, if it's an opportunity where we can educate the public, we take that opportunity. Etheridge has two other officers working with her every day, but that isn't the case for all officers. In small communities like Haver and Cutbank, animal control officers have multiple jobs, like parking enforcement and all operations of city animal shelters. Combining all of those, I spend a lot of time outside of the shelter, um, which makes it difficult for people that are wanting to visit animals. So some days it's stressful just because of all of the different complaints of different um, the factions that I do. It's uh, the, the love of the animals. Just dealing with the animals kind of makes it all worth it. The love of the animals keeps officers going, but they could always use a hand. Officer Joe in Cutbank wants to remind the community animals are more than pets, they're family. It's like a child. You protect your children. You should protect your animals also. In Great Falls, Cassandra Soto, MTN News.